Right, before we get out of the car, I have waited almost four weeks to get gravel. And on the day that I'm away on a trip in a lorry, look what arrives. The guy that owns a quarry had been using a 10 ton lorry to deliver his material and he eventually got a 20 ton. Now it took a while for him to get that 20 ton yoke organised because he had to get a PS feed and and in the middle of it all there was two weeks of a summer holidays where he went on, he went on vacation. And now with this big truck he has, he's bringing it twice as quick when he brings it. I'm keeping it up high so that I don't have to drag it back up the hill. There's a fall from here across to behind the bucket, 400 mil. I have ordered 160 ton for today. It might finish us and might not finish me. But we'll see how we get on. If we, As long as we keep working, bringing the gravel this way, it'll not really matter because the yard is going to continue going out that way eventually. We'll get him to place this one in here. Sit back. Ah, need a hammer. Door. <laughs> there he goes. I told him 160 tons would do it. Um, it's going to be tight.
If you've been following along, you've probably watched the video where I orientate the yard using the compass on my phone. Now, I use, you, doing that method is actually doing it a magnetic north, which isn't the true way the sun is. Right. If you look along here, I have been tracking the sun at different points throughout the day. That way is west. That way is east. And at high noon, 12 o'clock, I took a stick and I set it down, creating a shadow. Then I used another stick and lined the two. The two lines were parallel, and then I marked the stick. So that should be north, and that should be south. You can see the pattern. There's where I started this morning. And it's pretty much going true north is that way. I was driving the lorry the other day and I just went Chung! the yard faced the wrong way. Because of the shape of the yard with this hedgerow I'm going to split the difference. It'll be more important for me to lower that hedgerow. I would like to keep the tree but I'm going to have to cut this side of it anyway because if you notice it's directly under the gravel and where the gravel is is where my shade's going to be. I have bought some fence posts and I'm soaking them in oil. Okay, fair enough. It mightn't be the most environmentally friendly option, but in the long run, it's going to be more economical. Saving more trees, blah, blah, blah. And anyway, they're already treated in a dip anyway. Let me show you. I have them turned upside down to dry the, the end that I need to soak in the oil. These are treated posts and with these indentations, the, the material actually penetrates it deeper. So with waste oil, it's going to be, it'll last my lifetime. That's the plan anyway. So it's going to be a ways before we get the fence posts all dipped because it's taking about, it's taking, I'm going to soak them for a week each and there's four binfuls. So it's going to be about four weeks before I do that. And then the plan is, to install sheep wire around the perimeter of the yard. It'll start up there, come to here, 90 to here, bit of an angle going that way. I'm going to put a gate here, probably about four foot. Why four foot and not five? I don't know. Why four foot and not three? I don't know. That's just the first number I thought about. But that could change. It's going to be each brace down there and go along to what will be a concrete post uh, fencing gates at the far end because if you remember this is the area I had said that the animals would be entering the paddocks from. Water at that end. Water and electric at that end. Water and electric up at the top beside the black bucket. Vegetable garden. Down the road, vegetable. You'll maybe do it in a three point turn, this big truck. Some driver. If it works out, it'll be tighter the next time. And I'll have a fence on it, a gate on it. On back. Cheers. See ya. There's my dad in point. Oh. What? Oh. oh, why? Cool. Oh. There she goes. That's the last load in. That's what 850 ton look like. I used the digger to break off that big limb because it was too high to cut with chainsaw. It took a lot of time to get the gravel delivered with one to hold up after the other and holidays and blah, all the rest of it. But this yoke here, I've been very lucky to be able to hold on to it. But I'm out of time with it. It's been collected tomorrow. 
So if the man rings me, I'll come up and video that getting onto the truck and then that will nearly do us for this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.